Hello and welcome to Squeeze in English. It's about educating, not just learning. Episode 2, Listening versus Reading. The battle of two superpowers. I'm so sorry I don't have the homework. I was very busy cooking for my family. I had too much work, so I didn't have time for English. These and many more are the most common excuses people have to answer my question, what did you study last week? I understand them. Life is too busy sometimes. Show me a person who can mop the floor, clean windows, and read Shakespeare in original blank verse at the same time, and I'll call him a liar. But there are many activities that don't need your full attention and are strictly manual, even just background, simple English listening exercise is better than nothing. And now let's move on to the real superpower of listening. Long story short, follow the tips of all the healthy advisors and do the recommended 10,000 steps a day and suddenly you get 90 minutes for listening practice. Okay, in reality more like 30, but that's also great. Myself, I've spent hundreds of hours walking and listening at the same time. There are now literally thousands of podcasts, videos, sitcoms, etc. Just find what fits the best. I've been always listening to things I enjoy since I was able to understand at least a bit. And that's why I recommend to you. I'm gonna squeeze in information from up to 10 years of listening, reading and studying in English into a short educative episodes. You will listen to English in a form of fascinating information about effective studying tips, healthy lifestyle, art, psychology, traveling, etc. And you will see how closely is everything connected. I want to encourage you to have fun along the way, to enjoy your listening exercise and be grateful for every single mistake, for every single moment of frustration you have, because it's better to fix it right now than tomorrow. So just find your favorite topic and start listening. And so what's the superpower of reading? Have you ever been carried away while reading a thrilling novel. That's right, that feeling of a total immersion, the reward by itself. You don't get this feeling when you just listen to something as a background podcast while brushing your teeth. The full attention of reading is the moment to absorb and remember the most. It's the moment of no distractions. So if you tune into English while reading an English book, you can memorize so much more. Or you can focus on vocabulary and phrases, grab a marker and go nuts with highlighting keywords and then practice them over and over again that we could call analyzing or breaking the content down. And of course, it's more time consuming, but you can just read for fun. And don't worry too much about too many new words. Especially nonfiction books often use terms that you never use in a real life unless you are a scientist or any other specialist. If the words aren't 
recurring means if they aren't coming back again, that means they aren't so important and you can skip it. But be aware of words that sounds familiar to you. Means that you feel you've heard it before. These are the main ones that you want to memorize and start using it actively. So for now, the score is 1-1, as both methods, listening and reading, are just great and widely available. On the contrary to speaking, where you have to find somebody to speak with first. It just depends on what you are more into at the moment. What is your goal and how much time you have for studying? So, do you prefer listening or reading? Any experience you want to share? If you like the podcast, please like, share, subscribe, etc. Many thanks. Today's vocabulary. A blank verse. A type of poetry that doesn't rhyme. For example, Shakespeare. Long story short. If you want to say something shortly instead of talking too much about it. Literally, to be exact, with real numbers, without any exaggeration. To encourage, to motivate. Grateful, to express thanks for something. For example, we can be grateful for water and food we have. Thrilling means very exciting. Immersion, to be really involved in something. It's a similar to a state of flow that we are going to talk about in the future. Go nuts means go crazy. Over and over again, to show a repetitive nature of something.